What is up everybody? Two minute car review and over my shoulder, you can see this sexy beast right here. This is a 1965 Chevrolet C10 short bed pickup truck that belongs to my good friend, D. We just call him D because DeMarc is kind of hard to say. Call him D, call him, whatever. It's irrelevant what we call him. He's lucky I call him at all. But this truck, I had to call him and say, dude, you need to let me film this thing. 65C10, six liter LS power underneath the hood, 4L80E transmission, 12 bolt rear end backing it all up and riding on 20 inch wheels and air ride. This thing is bagged. This is ride height right here. And I gotta tell you, it rides like a damn dream. It's got vintage air, air conditioning underneath the dash, keeping you stupid cool. A little bit of fake distressed leather interior, but I gotta tell you, it looks fresh AF. I mean, what's not to love? Look at all the rust. Like you don't even have to care about where you park it or is somebody gonna bump into this thing? It's all the modern amenities. We got CPP brakes on this thing, disc brake conversion all the way around, drilled and slotted rotors up front here, tubular control arms. The whole thing's been gone through before. D did not build this truck. Not sure who the guy was that built it, but he bought it. I'm stoked that he did because I actually got the chance to go out and enjoy this thing. And I gotta tell you, man, it is super dope. So let's go out and drive it. Vintage air, sick, Bluetooth. Sit. Look, the air is really nice because I'm, it is, whoo. Uh, one downside, the race pack is not accurately configured. There is absolutely no way this thing is sitting at 312 degrees of temperature. The air ride system, party, check out those Yeti legs, is all manual valves. So there's no electronics to fail in here. Okay. What else? Uh, yeah, see? It's, it's good. The wiring. Every time I come in, I gotta set it, then I gotta go, and then I gotta get it, then I gotta blow it, then I gotta shut it. And A little less than stellar. I didn't do it. But it is what it is. It's, oh, that's reverse. There we go. Okay. First impressions.
seating snacks everywhere you go. Like I said before, just a couple downsides. One, seating position is, I, it, it's like trying to ride a tricycle as a bear. The animal, not, forget it. Uh, the other one, if you can't tell, is wind noise. That's not the AC blowing like crazy. The wind noise, it's a truck from 1965. They didn't quite figure out how to build them. There's zero sound ending inside of this thing, so it's like riding in a beer can being kicked on a gravel road. Oh, by the way, the bottom six inches of the door is just gone. It's gone. Return to the earth from whence it came. And you notice there's no seat belts. In 1965, trucks were not required to have seat belts, and because most of them were in the workforce, people needed to get in and out quickly, and they just didn't think about that. And they died like men. All in all though, man, I love this thing. I'm sad that he is selling it, but I'm stoked to have had the opportunity to enjoy this thing for just a brief moment in time. So shout out to my boy D for letting me make this video. This thing is just super cool, man. And to have the opportunity to, to mess around with it, drive it, play with it, I love it. And it's got me so hyped to build my own S10. And stay tuned, because that build series is coming up real quick. That's it, I'm out, peace.